Mufasa from the grave says if the 49ers miss the playoffs, then not only is this season a waste of time, but this franchise is cursed. Mufasa would know. Yeah, he would. Here's the thing. I went to, I had a, there's a family little Christmas and a new addition to the family, um, little two and a half year old cousin named Louie. And he knows all the Lion King songs. I mean, kids to still to this day love Akuna Matata and I Just Can't Wait to Be King. Those songs are magical, magical uh-huh. songs that just transfix children to this day. I mean, those were big songs when I was a kid anyway. Just wanted to yeah. mention that, Mufasa. Mm-hmm. You really had it. It's like you and Prince. I mean, your impact on pop culture, it's it's not talked about enough. <laughs> Over under 12 carries for Trey on Sunday. Oh, my God. That better be under. It better be under. <laughs> that better good, be under. That's a good uh, number right there, though. It better be under. Yeah, it better be. It better, better be, be under 10, really. Better be under 10. Is Jimmy officially ruled out for Sunday? No. How do we know he won't try to give it a go? We don't. Or Kyle will pull some shenanigans and play him. <laughs> if if Rappaport's correct, then this is a – he's not playing uh, for – he's not playing. He's not playing until they go to the Super Bowl. And if Trey Lance takes him to the Super Bowl, then Jimmy ain't playing. Yeah. But I don't know if Rappaport's wrong a lot of, about a lot of stuff. So we'll see. I noticed that – did did Schefter convert Rappaport's report or did he just – was it all Rappaport with the specifics? Shanahan or excuse me, uh, Schefter is the first one. Schefter is the first one that I saw. I didn't see. He said it Rappaport worked, until after. Right, that's true. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, all right. Well, hopefully Rappaport doesn't lead us astray again. Yet again, tinfoil hat theory. What if Shani knew Jimmy Garoppolo would get them to the playoffs? Then insert trade. No film except against Arizona in that game. They didn't show off. Uh, I don't know. I think I think Jimmy got hurt, and this is Plan B. <laughs> Yeah, but this brings up a funny a funny topic though that was going yeah. around Twitter if you remember back around the training camp was that Garoppolo's the better quarterback for the regular season but Lance is the better quarterback for the postseason. Do you remember that? And this right. Is, well, this we're going to see that they, we're going to see it. Yeah. That theory will be tested. Yes. Yanni Vander Balen says ten, Oh wait, we already got you. Sorry. Yeah. What if Kyle said what he said about the injury so teams can't prepare for Trey and Jimmy's camp leaked it as a final payback to Kyle for all the stuff he put Jimmy through. Yeah, that sounds about right. Sounds right. Sounds about right. Yeah, I would think that definitely passes the smell test. We don't know for sure, but that's plausible. Truth be told, we're better off getting third day picks multiple for Jimbo. That's the only times we're consistently successful in the draft anyway. Nice. True. Can't (laughs) disagree with that, Anthony Adams. You can't can't screw up in the first round if you don't have a first round pick. That's a good point. Uh, Scars Be Prepared is still the hardest diss song ever. He won it all. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh, that, is man. that is true that is true i forgot about that